I used beeswax to make my lizard. I'm going to place the sprue through which I'll fill the mould on the head and fix a vent to each foot and one on the tip of the tail. I used ordinary plaster of Paris for the investment. I wanted to show that if you follow all the steps thoroughly, plaster of Paris works fine. I was doing this on a hot day and had trouble keeping the lizard's shape as I applied the plaster. about to collapse in the heat. That's got to go in the fridge now. It took several days to build up the investment to its full thickness, allowing it to dry fully between plaster coats. Working in summer, this translated to three coats a day. It's important not to try and speed up the drying process by heating the investment. Try and pull this lizard. Don't tell me, bit. That's it. Well done. Well done. Do I need to do more? It's obviously a lot of air traps, isn't there? I think we're supposed to leave it, but I think we're supposed to pour more. It's not going to go in, is it? Oh, let's pick it some more. Wow. 
haven't got ourselves a lizard, mate. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh, brilliant. The front right leg was barely attached and had to be welded before I dared to cut off the sprues which had been holding the leg in position. None of the feet came out very well, which was perhaps because I had attached my vents to the animal's ankles. I should have put the sprue and vents on the underside of the piece to make finishing easier. The original wax model had a pronounced spine which was lost when I began the investment process on too hot a day. Home lost wax investment casting can be done with low cost non-specialist materials. It does take patience and care, but if I can do it, so can you.